David Tarpey, I'm a professor of entomology and the extension apiculturist or the honeybee specialist for cooperative extension. Honeybees are really indispensable members of the commercial production agricultural industry and that's because they provide an invaluable service of pollination that then enables seed and then fruit set. So if it weren't for honeybees and other pollinators we wouldn't have about a third of everything that we eat and that third accounts for all the fun stuff all the fruits and vegetables and nuts and so the things that really define the western healthy diet is really honeybees are responsible for that and so they're really important for sustainable agriculture going into the future one of the more basic projects that we have going on right now is to look at the genomics of queen development and their reproductive potential because there's only one queen per colony Anything we can do to improve the genetics of that queen will go a long way to improving the health and productivity of the colony. And so one of the limitations of doing research on queens is that there is only one queen per colony. So you need, often need lots of colonies in order to conduct the, this type of research. So a way to uh, fast track that type of project is to raise queens in vitro. So we're actually raising test tube queens um, in the incubator where we can do many, many queens and, and actually look at a lot of the underlying genetics that are responsible for what makes a good queen good. Well, honeybees are just cool. I mean, there's just no other way around it, right? Um, honeybees are a wonderful model. So not only are they important to the sustainability and to the future of agriculture, but they are a model social insect. They are a model system to investigate how groups of individuals function together as a cohesive whole. And so that extra layer of biological complexity of the colony is really fascinating to me and it offers a lot of insights into how nature works.